It seemed like yesterday, but it was long ago. Started this fight against the Federal Reserve. They even kidnapped congressmen's kids and killed them to try to shut it down. But here we are. You can feel the momentum shifting. No matter what events the private banks stage, no matter what scams they run, their days are numbered. The momentum has shifted against them, and they know their destruction, their defeat is inevitable. Let's take a few final calls uh, here for Wayne Paul. Let's talk to Ronnie in Texas, Steve J, K, Philippe, and others. Ronnie, you're on the air with Wayne Paul. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Wayne Paul, um, I'm, you're number four for me. I'm so honored to speak to you. Uh, I spoke with, obviously, Dr. Paul and Carol and his other brother, Randy and Rand, and you. But I have a question for you and uh, just a couple of comments. But one a photo that I saw while I was campaigning in Iowa for Dr. Paul was of Dr. Paul in a baseball uniform, and I wasn't sure if he either played pro baseball or just in college. Do you well, have... that was a congressional baseball game oh. that the Congress took on, I think it was the Washington Senators, and Ron got the Astros to send him a uniform, and oh. oddly enough, in that bowl game, Ron hit a home run. <laughs> Did that. Well, thanks. You know, as you know, he's a founding father among us now, and I'm so the forces with him. Yeah. And and my question, though, the, my major question, though, is uh, like you, sir. Uh, I know he is not in favor of, uh, or I'm assuming, like you, uh, he's not in favor generally of people doing drugs. But Dr. Paul is more vehemently opposed to our own continually counterproductive war on pot smokers and hemp enthusiasts. So equating alcohol with THC is a lie, and alcohol is. You know, with the fetal alcohol syndrome, et cetera, it's a toxic poison, and THC is non-toxic medicine. So I'm okay, listen, I appreciate your call. Uh, yeah, your comments on drug decriminalization, not legalization like Soros wants, decriminalization so that we don't spend all our time and energy locking up people that need treatment. And I agree with that. I think Ron's belief and my belief are very similar in that, that that is a moral issue that is a personal choice of people, it doesn't mean that we condone it. It only means that we should help that individual so that those things do not become addictive and they do not start to control their life. Well, And that's the that issue. Look, areas of Europe have decriminalized heroin and... In some areas, it's cut it by half. Everywhere, it's gone down at least by 25%. People can pull those numbers up. Uh, there's different numbers per country, different cities, but it's all a massive decrease. And people stop robbing your house for your stereo and computer because the stuff is super cheap, and it's from a kind of government or city dispensary. And, pr uh, and probably 80% of those people behind bars in prisons would not be there if it wasn't for that. Well, plus, they admit our troops guard the poppy fields in Afghanistan, and it's up nine times. I mean, they're, sh they're shipping it in. I mean, of course the elites do that. We're talking about hundreds of billions a year of secret money they get to fractionally reserve loan out. Let's take one more call here right in this hour, and we'll come back five more minutes. Steve in Canada, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi there, Alex. I'm a yes. long-time listener, big-time fan. Um I got a comment, which will lead into a question for Mr. Uh, Mr. Paul. There, uh, my comment is is um, about the HR twenty four fifty four, the the climate change act that just got passed there in the states. It would pass like the House. Day. It hadn't passed the Senate. Hasn't yet, eh? That was actually one of my questions. Um, if that does pass, I just want your listeners to to know that there's a great video out there called the Great Global Warming Swindle. And it's available on YouTube and Google Video and all those places. Yeah, it's free. It's incredible. It's got all the climatologists and scientists. Thank you. I'm going to jump. Great points. We're going to come back in 70 seconds with Wayne Paul, Dr. Ron Paul's brother and an activist against tyranny uh, as well. And I guess we can say chip off the old block because he is Ron's younger brother, one of his younger brothers. And uh, we will uh, we'll ask him about the global warming tax. Final minutes with Wayne Paul. A few more of your phone calls. Then General Stubblebine and Dr. Lambo will be joining us to talk about eugenics. Wayne, uh, global warming tax over every facet of our lives, federal inspections, total federalization, eugenics agenda for the control freaks around our lives. Your take on the global warming cap and trade 
and on eugenics. Wayne, uh, are, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Uh, your take on the global warming tax and eugenics. Well, as far as global warming is concerned, uh, I, I too think the um, cat is out of the bag that a lot of that is uh, a hoax. I think if if we learn anything from it, we should be more aware of our environment and take better care of it. But I don't. I think global warming is is come and gone over the last two hundred years. That I don't think there's anything different today than it was when we settled this country back. Well, I agree with you, and 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 they piggyback legitimate environmental issues. Sure. That could be handled civilly. You you do some toxic waste dumping on somebody, they can take you to, to you know to the cleaners or get you put in prison. That's correct. Uh, but 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 they love these new systems that are extrajudicial outside the system, and uh, they mean business. Go ahead. Well, and it's called. I I don't have enough of your property. I want a little bit more. So they try different ways to plunder your property, and that's in effect what cap and trade is going to do. And then look at government being the biggest polluter out there. Absolutely. I mean, this is like CPS is five to seven times more likely, depending on what state, to abuse your children. They're the most dangerous people out there, so they're the ones that watch the kids. I mean, give me a break. Every pedophile in the world wants to be a CPS worker. I mean, put two and two together, of course. Jay in Oregon, last caller for our guest, Wayne Paul, Ron Paul's brother. Go ahead. Hi, Wayne. Hi, Jay. Uh, actually, I got two parts of a question, two questions for Go you. Go ahead. And... and Question one, um, how do you reconcile uh, the cognitive dissonance of working to quell what you guys are calling the rise of the one-world government, the one-world economy, um, the one-world currency, when it's clear in the Word of God that this is going to happen? Yeah, it was clear in 70 A.D. They thought it was the end of the world and when uh, Jerusalem was sacked. They thought it was the end of the world when Hitler was killing people. Uh, you've had all these different empires. How do you reconcile in the Word of God that uh, it's our job to fight evil, whatever the cost may be. You know, it, it, it's 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 not to us to to choose. It's us to do the right thing. Uh, you know, duty is ours. Consequence belongs to God. I mean, is that what you're saying, or or well, what are you getting at? Well, Alex, I get. I know your position real well. I was asking Mr. Paul. Okay, go ahead. We'll let you go, Mr. Uh, Mr. Paul. Go ahead. Okay, uh, my answer to that question is. It doesn't change my Christian obligation as to how I live and how I be, how I am a steward of the property I've been entrusted with. Regardless of what may be God's will, I have, I have been instructed by the Word to live a life that is a stewardship life in terms of the property I have, in terms of the people I, I associate with, my peer group, and my responsibility is to do it according to God's Word. And God's going to take care of the rest of the things, so I'm not going to worry about it. I still have to fight the battle that the Federal Reserve System is an evil system and needs to be abolished. It doesn't change. Yeah, that it was act. the pastors that led the Revolutionary War against England, and a few of the pastors did say it's God's will. Lay down Romans thirteen out of context. Look right. at the prophets. Look at the whole Bible. It's about standing up against evil and fighting evil. Callers, that answer your question, Jay. It does enough. Thank you. You bet. I mean, these devil churches, funded by the Rockefellers publicly, World Council of Churches, are telling people stand down, and. Uh, it is incredible. Wayne Paul, amazing having you on. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. We appreciate you being on, and he's in the Obama deception, folks. Let me say bye to you during the break, Wayne. Stay with us.